movie night on Dancing with the Stars turned out to be a bloodbath of a horror film with not one but two couples going home. Yes, two. But first it started off with a couple getting immunity from elimination. Leslie from 1063 The Groove kind of gives us a play by play. Yes, so first everyone had to dance and the person yes. that with the highest score uh, was uh, safe from this double this double eviction that they found yeah. out about. And uh, we, as, as usual, Normandy from Fifth Harmony yeah. did an outstanding performance and got a perfect score. Yeah. Wow, I, and I, I have to say when I was watching it and stuff, it's very good, but I know that, and I, I'm feeling what other people are feeling, she has an unfair advantage. I mean, she dances as part of her group, you know what I mean? But I, people could say that about Heather from, from Glee. Or really Nancy Kerrigan. I mean, she kind of did dancing in, right. in that. But it comes down, it'll come down to, we just talked about it, a popularity contest really is because Heather shouldn't have really been voted off. She was really good, right. but she didn't have that much personality. Exactly, Ooh. where she does. And yes, the dance was great, but. I heard she had a little bit of a back she issue. did. She had yeah. some injuries, yeah, that she had, and you wouldn't notice by the performance. Tell. I love the movie theme, though, like, like they did. Like Simone yeah. Biles, again, did really well. They had the silent film thing, and it was really yeah. cute to see her fun personality come out, which I thought was, was a lot of fun. And they, uh, they were pretty high on there, but they didn't get a perfect score. But, I mean, it was so much fun for those guys to do that. Uh, I know Rashad had horror film. That was yeah. <laughs> pretty funny, too. I mean, it was just really cute, the different genres of movies that they had. Had. So, I mean, she was really close behind uh, Normani, but she didn't get the immunity, which means she still had to go into the dance off, right? Yes. And okay. so I don't know if this is something they've done in the past or not, but they basically, the people with the different, the higher scores, so they got to go pick who they wanted to dance against. Oh. I know, and she picked Nancy Kerrigan, and she they, they asked her later, do you think it's because the Olympic connection? And she oh, said, maybe. probably that's why. Okay. Yeah, and so they each had to dance the same dance, yeah. And the, the judges then voted, as well as America, and, and, and Simone won that one. It just gave them two extra points. It wasn't didn't mean that any of them were still up for elimination, because they all are. And we got to see who was kind of winning vote-wise. Yes, because, yeah, like, S Simone was the, the favorite of the judges. Also, America also yeah. said they won that competition. And then you've got R uh, Rashad, who also picked another sports guy, David Ross. Okay. I mean, but you had to know. I mean, David Ross is not a great dancer, but he's really popular, and he just has fun with it. But Rashad, pretty good dancer, and so not surprising, Rashad won that dance-off. Uh, but I was gonna say, <laughs> he's been killing it. He has been. I, I really like him. I hope yeah. he gets picked up on a team. And then we have um, Bonner, the uh, rodeo guy, who picked to go dance against Nick. Yeah. Those two are the weakest dancers. Yeah, and, I would agree. And I actually have to say, I was a little surprised that Bonner was the, the winner, came out the winner in that competition. I feel like that could have been a coin toss. I know, exactly. <laughs> and I was like, wow. Yeah. So, so again, though, all of them are up for elimination. Yeah. Even if you won that competition, you got extra points, but it didn't mean anything I wonder, at the very end. I haven't watched, obviously, all of the seasons. I wonder if this is a new thing. Thing, this dance off I know thing. I don't know either if that was something it was, it's interesting but I'm like I guess it would be more exciting if the the people that lost were actually the ones that were up for elimination uh, instead of everyone still being up for elimination. like it really doesn't mean anything like way to go you're still up for elimination <laughs> I know because what happens if um, okay I'll spoiler alert Simone right. did not get sent home but what if she won that competition hands down and then all yeah. of a sudden gets sent home right so we but get. I kind of like watching them dance up against each yes, other. Yes, I like that. Though. That is really cool. So we get down to who's eliminated. David Ross gets saved. So it's Nancy Kerrigan, and I'm not surprised. Nick goes home. So you called Nick. I did call Nick, but I also thought David might go. Yeah. But that's where well, the America today. Vote comes in, and yeah. he has a huge following. There's a. I don't know. There's a lot of Cub fans around here. <laughs> I don't know if you know, but some people like the Cubs. Uh, it was really funny, though, because my mother, who lives uh, in the Midwest, calls me before I even watched it. And she was like, "That is that Nick from The Bachelor? And I was like, yes. And she goes, I was watching Dancing with the Stars, so he finally gets booted off. And I'm like, oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't know? I'm like, no, I'm watching it tonight, but thanks for that. You're like, note to self, don't answer mom's calls on Monday night. Got exactly. It. Uh, so you did call Nick. Nancy, I think, was another big shocker, just like Heather bit, yeah. uh, uh, last week. Yeah. So 
I think this is what we're both saying. Like, you could be a great dancer, yes. but personality also goes a long way ways. And also, if you're attached to a team that kind of won something big recently, right? <laughs> <laughs> that also could help. So, with that being said, who do you think now is going to go? Uh, I you I still think David could do it, but I, there could be another big shock. I think Simone actually at this point will win it all. Oh, you're calling Simone to win it all? Yes. I think she will have the more popular vote. I think it could be her and Normandy in the final two, but the, the, the America vote could really throw things off. It could be Rashad or even David in the semifinals. That's everybody. I know, <laughs> but I think David should be as far as the weaker dancer, yeah. but I think he's got a very big following. Yes, I, I agree. It doesn't all have to come down to uh, dancing ability. If Normandy has a bad dance, she could be shocked and go home. That could be the next shocker. Okay, let's see if Leslie <laughs> has predicted it correct. Don't miss the next episode of Dancing with the Stars right here on Kega 9 next Monday. And then tune into The Blend on Tuesdays for the recap. To learn more, visit abc.com or 1063thegroove.com.